So once you have a platform that understands buildings, it becomes really important to translate that in terms of our experience as the guys who are doing the work on the ground. Because in the end, that's really the customer here, right? It, it's not the building owner, it's not the occupant. It's the guy who's gonna buy the product and install this and make it go. So when we took that into consideration of how does that process work, right? Well, we go through a design build uh, approach and we need to be able to connect the dots between what is the intent of the building and was it installed correctly. So first is putting a screen right on that controller, make it all software defined IO. So the IO can then check that all your wiring is done correctly and that it can, that it meets the definition of the components you connected to it. So if you're connected to a thermistor or a pump or a, uh, you know, a, a chiller plant, that it's able to engage with those things as you drew them and make sure that it's working as a system as, as it was designed. And so changing that workflow, and we can get a moment into that workflow, but I'll just kind of go through a sequence of, of what we see here as, as the, the value here is you're, you're providing a single edge solution that's replacing a catalog of parts right now. You can have one controller that's doing all the jobs. It's giving you that real-time step-by-step install. It's giving you self-guided wiring where it's testing that wiring and leaving it in place for the rest of us, the autonomous control platform. So that's our view of the marketplace. Satisfy the installer, leave in place an autonomous platform that we, the rest of us can plug in services to. From their point of view, it's a matter of like, how do we pre-integrate these different components into one package that today you know, we, we call ourselves integrators and that's because that's where all the work is. Now, back to your iPhone, one of the things that's really interesting, there's a lot of things you could say about how the iPhone changed the marketplace. But a simple one is to say, it was just pre-integrated, right? You no longer had to put together your computer and put together the software and get it up and going. You just literally buy it and it just works, right? And that's how building automation should be. And so that's what we focused on here putting everything you need into one control, but then more importantly, what does this new platform enable? Control autopilot, universal protocol translation, automated point mapping, automated commissioning, human comfort-based control, right? Not just air temperature control. And you put that into a box that represents, you know, how we all work that's self-contained. So this is not cloud dependent. You plug it in, it goes, and it's its own control system, just like it is today because we're just not gonna convince our industry to be cloud tethered. Even if we could, it's not resilient enough to run things from the cloud. And I think that's an important thing for everybody to understand. Why autonomous systems? Well, by nature, they can't be driven from the cloud resiliently enough, even in the best of circumstances, even if you're at Microsoft's headquarters. And, and then you make that a scalable model, right? So is it a, it's a question of, do you have one controller or three or five or 10 or a hundred or 500? And that's how passive logic works is they're all software defined boxes. There's no one quote unquote Jace or one master. Um, they all can master, they all carry a copy of the database and they all work together to solve the overall building's problem. So, that's from a point of view of the hardware. Like, how do you make the hardware actually act the way we work? But then how do you make the workflow represent what we need as an industry to not just automate, you know, automation, which is one goal, but to automate this workflow that we all have. And so you start with that control by definition with this platform that gives you this ability to make your own custom autonomous platform for your building. And then instead of this programming we're doing today, we're replacing that with drawings. Well, you're gonna have to make the drawings anyway so to tell the guys what they're doing out in the field. So we've gotten a two for one and we're doing it instead of weeks, minutes, maybe hours, maybe a day at most, right? But you've, you have this 90% savings in time right up front. Once you've done the drawing of the building and the systems, it actually says, well, I know how to design a control system for you. Would you like me to do that? And it will design its own control system, point map it all and then gives you this, what you see is what you get, you know, wiring interface that gives you the live interaction. And again, this is replacing what has been, you know, a lot of days or weeks of system design, IT, and then going out to the marketplace, um, you know, working with those, those endpoint distributors of like, how do I get acquire all this stuff? The next piece is 
working with utility companies to actually connect up the incentive marketplace. Once you have a description error building in your systems, well, it can connect you up to that incentive marketplace where utilities today are feeling like people aren't making use of the incentives that are there. And this is unfortunate, that's their whole job is to incentivize. Um, that guided wiring and automatic commissioning, again, is another point of savings. Right now, we're spending a lot of time and doing uh, manual commissioning and and it's very error prone. Uh, one guy can switch two wires and you know, you're know you going to have uh, a problem that may take uh, an hour, may take a day, maybe take years to figure out where that wire went wrong in the whole building. So guiding that whole process, again, saving us from those headaches and we're always the last guys out of the building. So everything's gonna be blamed on us, whether or not it's our fault, but you know, in the end, it is a little bit our fault because our tools just aren't capable of doing what the users expect. We, and this may be as big uh, and, uh, as Pathologic itself, but when we talk about the digital twins and digital twin interface, um, one of the things that it enables is all of these cloud providers of services to then connect the buildings in a one-click way, just like you experience with your iPhone. And today, that is a minimum $50,000 integration cost just to the simplest analytics app, or even the simplest, just like, you know, a warmer, colder comfort app. Getting that control autopilot and then providing that human comfort based control. So, at the core of it, because it's physics based, we're controlling not around just air temperature, we're actually controlling around comfort. And that can be human comfort, the building's comfort, you know, the, the building science of the, of the building can be a, a process control comfort. You know, maybe you have a carbon fiber layup uh, line that has to have certain uh, comfort dimensions of the carbon fiber in, in, in terms of, you know, temperature and humidity and these boundaries. Um, and then, you know, this automatic analysis that comes out of it, not just the what of regular analytics, but the analysis, right? Like telling you what happened and why it happened and what was the lineup of things. And then ending up with, you know, with a, with a single click, you know, you can add it to an optional cloud where you can see all your buildings in a portfolio and be able to navigate and manage like all your different uh, issues and do across portfolio insights and so forth. So it's a really different workflow than today's workflow, but follows what is really the business workflow of, of automation. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for taking us through that. Um, I just took notes and I have this list of all the things that we spend all of our time on right now that you just checked through. And next to the list I have done, 90% done, automated, included, automated, optional, done. <laughs> uh, so I'll, I'll lay all that out for everyone in the show 